the history of Ninjago. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell. At the very beginning, there were the Oni and the Dragon. The Dragon had the power to create and the Oni had the power to destroy. And then there was a child born from both worlds who had both powers, the first Spinjitzu Master. He created the Dragon Armor in an attempt to stop the endless war between the two sides, but he failed. So he went to a new and created Ninjago using the golden weapons of Spinjitzu. Peace in the new realm only lasted for so long, as the overlord, the literal embodiment of evil, came and made an indestructible army, starting the Stone Wars. There was no victory, so the first Minjutsu master split the land into the Dark Island and Ninjago mainland. The battle would later be finished by his grandson, Lloyd Garmadon, many years in the future. The first Minjutsu master, however, couldn't harness two elements. See, and storm. So he put them in amulets and gave the sea amulet to the Merlopians and he gave the storm amulet to the keepers. Now Wujira was a giant water snake who controlled the sea and she was defeated by Niad, the first master of water. He also created the round crystal in this time period. Then we had all of young Wu and Garmadon's adventures, which will be further explored in a new comic series, Spinjitzu Brothers. We have Garmadon getting bitten by the Great Devourer, we have them fighting Asphira, as well as Wu training Moro, as long as many other things. Then we have the biggest event in Ninjago history, the Serpentine War. This is when Wu and Garmadon were fighting over Misako, and Chen was manipulating the whole war and coaxing Garmadon to be evil. And then the whole thing played out, and the good guys won, and Chen was sent to an isolated island as punishment for his crimes. The Time Twins then believed they could rule Ninjago, as they believed to control time, control all. So Wu had Rei and Maya forge the Time Braids out of Chrono Steel, a, a material that absorbed elements, and Wu and Garmadon used it to defeat them. Along the main timeline, we have many other adventures such as Lily, Kor's mom's adventures in Shintaro, Soto vs. Nauticon, and Julian creating Zane and Echo Zane. Then we arrive at the Battle of the Brothers, where the Great Devourer has completely overtaken Garmadon and he attempts to steal the Gordon weapons. Garmadon is zapped by magic lightning and sent to the Underworld, where he retains his black and bony form we know him as today. And then we have all the events of the main TV show. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, hit my channel logo to subscribe. Comment down below if you'd like to see more of this style of content, for instance, summarizing the seasons. Click one of the free things on screen for some more epic content. Signing off for now. See you next time.